Now remember, stomp those grapes. Ready? 66-year-old Stephen Katz and his wife Regina have been married for more than four decades. They danced for the first time together last year. You never danced at your wedding? No. No? Mm -mm. Trying to get him out on the dance floor was next to impossible. Last year was tough. Regina had a stroke. Stephen diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, making him a prime candidate for a stroke. To turn their lives around, they hit the dance floor. What was it like during that first dance class? We were as clumsy and, gr and, and graceless as a herd of elephants trying to dance in tutus. More than a year later, they're still working on their waltz and rumba. Yep, didn't work. Did oh, it's just the other hand. Yeah, it's another hand. But their hearts are doing better than ever. How has your heart been since you've started dancing? It's going to add a few more years because I feel a lot stronger. What did he say about you? You got the heart of a teenager. Yeah. Put it this way something's going to kill me, but it's probably not going to be, my, be the heart. <laughs> Wayne Corso owns Fred Astaire Dance Studio. He says dancing helps with balance, flexibility, and stamina. It teaches a person confidence, in return, brings stress levels down, helping the heart. We're not doctors, you know, we're not members of the medical profession. All we know is that there's things about dancing that really help people. As they dance, their hearts get better with every step. Quick, quick, quick. You, you, all the, you zigged. You zigged when you should have zagged. Even if it's the wrong one. Priscilla Casper, KGUN 9, on your side.